Hello, everybody, and welcome back to TurtleCast. Thank you for joining us here today. If you're live on the air with us through X, happy to have you here. Yes, we use that platform because it is probably one of the highest used platforms after Facebook. And uh, if you want any of that active content, we'll also be streaming to Facebook and YouTube soon. But thanks for having us, uh, you know, join here today. Exciting. Yeah. So we want to talk about some of our partners that have uh, come in to give opportunities to our members on Tarl. What do you want? To, what do you want to chat about? I think first of all, we need to. I, I want people to understand when they're filling out a data packet, where the data packet originates from, who's the person behind the data packet, and and sometimes we give the names of the, you know, we give the names of the the company that is where you're selling your data to. Yeah. In that data packet, but there's different variants. Different companies are seeking different things, and there's certain criteria where someone may match or not match. Or because uh, we had somebody the other day, they they made a comment. They're like, I, "I was in this data packet. I was filling some of it out. It took me to this other site, and then it screened me out after I'd spent like thirty seconds yeah. on it." Okay. So I, I want to explain different partners. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. we have partners come in. You all know that we have built a phenomenal marketplace for consumers or people like you all over the internet to securely vault their data in something like a bank account that only you have access to. Now, through that process, because that's been so effective for you in the technology we've brought forward that's allowed you to be in control, brands have come to us and said, hey, we want to connect with the people that are a part of your membership. And we're like, all right, fine. And they're like, we want to give them more opportunity. Now, when that occurs, we partner with them, but their systems have different sets of rules. So we will show you these extra opportunities, but we don't set the rules on that end. We will try to show you things you will best qualify for. And what that means is that some data partners on the outside need people with specific qualifications. So they'll ask you to interact with the data packet. It'll bring you into their system. If you qualify, going through a process like answering things, you're going to go all the way through and Tartar will get you that money paid. No problem. Now, a majority of the time though, one in every five people get screened out of our partners. Yep. That's just how our partners work. Yes. They have a different technology. They have a different business model. So if you're looking for extra income, you are patient, right? And you understand the process here, the quantitative measures that one in every five, all right? So 20% of the people make it through and we'll do everything we can to make that even better for you. You're going to make some extra cash, but don't become frustrated. Mm -hmm. It's just the setup of our partners when they come in and they say, hey, we want to be a part of what you're doing because it's great. We like the effectiveness of your system, but you, you just have to abide by their rules. But everything you're going to do on Tartle, when Tartle says you're going to get paid for something right out the rip, you're getting paid from Tartle. Yeah, and we also want to give you like all different types of opportunities. We, yeah. we don't want to say no, you know, because some people don't mind taking five, 10 minutes, earn a few bucks. So where some people are like, you know, I want it to be 20 seconds and done. So everybody kind of has different variants in the way that they're doing things. So it's the same for us, especially when it comes to these data packets, uh, we have a scoring system and I kind of want you to explain that. Sure. Because like it, the way that you're seeing the the data packet on your feed, the way that you're seeing that dictates how well that packet is performing. Yeah, that's true. So we don't want to just throw everything at you and we don't want partners coming in and flooding Tartle's marketplace with dog shit, just to be frank. Right. So as people are participating in, and if the partners are just screening everybody out and nobody's getting opportunity from these third-party people, we put that right to the bottom of the list. We won't even show you that first, or sometimes our technology will just hide it all together because we don't want you wasting your time. We just want to be as effective as possible, showing you things that you are most likely to qualify for when it comes to our partners on the outside, okay? So if there's a data packet there that is what well, we have, like high conversion, it's working very, very well for people, you're going to be able to see it. And as those things tailor off, we'll hide those from you because we don't want you wasting your time. We want you to have a good experience, especially when it comes to the partners. But this also puts a good system of checks and balances in place to inhibit partners from, you know, essentially abusing our technology yes. or abusing the time of people which are on Tartle because we need to respect things like that. Okay, we need to make sure the protective measures that were in place so that we are fair and ethical in our practices are still there and we're still respective of what it means for the human beings that are on the other side that are sharing their data. And I also think it's cool, and we'll end with this, uh, I, I think it's it's really cool that not only do are we ethical with that and you're getting permission, I mean, they're asking whether to sell this data or not, and then you're getting permission on it. But I also think like each of these providers have a different ask. 
Yeah. So you may you may turn around and it may want you to download something from a website that's your Facebook profile or our DNA records or something. Right. Or test out a new app. Yeah, or, I mean? or look at these three pictures and tell which ones you like and why you like it. There's a million different ways data gets collected. Mm -hmm. And so what they're doing is instead of companies taking an obfuscated route where they're not really telling you how they're collecting data on you, on Tartle, they're coming to you directly and say, these are the things we want to collect. These are the things we want you to do. This is what we're looking to measure. This is who we are. So if you want to take the more appropriate route, you want to get paid for your interaction with businesses, if you want to join the rest of the 2 million people in our community that are actively selling their data, actively earning, you know, come on, join up, sign up. It's free. Tartle.co. And, and I want to make, I want to end in this and you comment on this. Uh, this is really, really important. There are some of you that are out there that think, you know, like, if I just fill things out really fast, then then we're good to go. I'm going to fill out like 100 no. packets. I'm going to do it, and I'm just going to put some bullshit information in there, or I'm just going to click. We, we can see that. Yeah. Our system knows that. We have a score that we put on you mm -hmm. that will eliminate you for future earnings later. Mm -hmm. So you need to be, it's really important that it's not, and, and this is tempting to go with quantity. Yeah. But your short term, you may get the two bucks, the three bucks, whatever. But long term, earning thousands of dollars through years and years of being on Tartle, mm -hmm. you're going to screw yourself over because once you get that, it, it's once you get that really negative score, it's like having 500 Google reviews and you look at that store and there's like 500 bad reviews. You're not going to eat at that place. No, and it's like having a bad credit score. Nobody's going to give you more opportunities yes. in the future if you're abusing a system because you think you can just do this. The people who get the data, they want real data. They want real insights from you. They want to really understand. And if you start to abuse that, they'll exclude you in the future. Mm -hmm. They'll be like, this person, that account right there, I don't want to buy data from them in the future. Well, another thing, too, if it gets like we had with one a data a business provider, an AI a provider, they, in turn, we saw that people were scamming the system, so we have zero tolerance for that, so we deleted some of you. Yeah, so we'll just, we'll just kick you out altogether. It's not fair to the rest of the mm -hmm. hardworking, truthful, and honest millions of members in our community that are doing the right thing, and those small select few that are abusing, time for you to go, because you hurt opportunities for everyone else, but you're going to hurt yourself first. Yeah, and speaking of time to go. Yeah, time to go. We will be back, uh, we'll be back soon. Thanks for joining us.